Welcome everybody, Semi Revolution here, and I got a co-caster with me today, Trejan from game number four, uh, Hello, is everyone. joining me in here. So this will be extremely exciting. Uh, I have a few people saying that it'd be kind of cool to get a co-caster, and he actually did a little casting on Twitch with uh, Denzel and Saint Road in a, a series. You can link link it on his channel. I'll link it below. Um, but we're going to have him join us today, and he'll definitely help me keep an eye on what is going on <laughs> in this Grand Finals. Very exciting stuff. Um, yeah, so very exciting to have him on board. Um, let's introduce some of these players, though. So in blue here, uh, from game number two, who played with the Dutch previously, is Danzel92. Some know him as the walking encyclopedia. Um, <laughs> others as just some crazy Age of Empires nerd. But he is playing with Spain today, which is extremely exciting. I know a lot of you guys have been seeing me play with Spain recently. Um, definitely a Civ I'm trying to get more used to. So we'll see how they can do here on the Great Lakes, um, which was the map that you guys voted in. Uh, he did on the Himalayas that, that match, and uh, he pretty much just sat back and soaked up the pressure uh, and then came out on top. Uh, all these games will be linked below. But uh, to his left, we have Tim and Air. So, uh, Trajan, you want to introduce? Yeah. Yeah, Timinator was playing in game five, like last game. He was a patient, well timed player. Uh, played as Portuguese in color green. Uh, he did a very good job in that game. He basically killed two players by himself and just won once. He managed to go against his biggest rival, Vividly, who is a moderator in Samurai's uh, Discord. He went 2v1 against that finish him off, and basically won the game. Awesome stuff. I think these two are definitely the favorites going into this game. Uh, we had the the poll. We, uh, if you look at the poll on uh, oh, our yeah, Discord, yeah. they were they were up there with the highest votes. So we'll see if that comes out. And it's awesome to see them right next to each other. So that'll be exciting, too. Uh, so then to the north of him, we have SpongeBob. What a character he is. Oh, yes, SpongeBob. Like, he's... Probably the most controversial player out of all previous F3 for all matches. Like, who is this whatever means of winning? Some people hate him, others love him. So, introducing the winner of game four who was playing as Russian color teal, SpongeBob, the turtle. Yeah, so, so he's probably the, the most defensive player out of all. We, uh, we all know that how much he likes to spam walls, even Supremacy 1v1s. So, interesting to see. If he's gonna try to do that as well. Yeah, it's interesting to see. I had a lot of people telling me to put the blue player in from that match into the finals, um, which was that was a that was a hard decision to make because I could see their points. <laughs> but at the same time, SpongeBob did win, and yeah. I got got to respect that. Uh, so but there is gonna be a second chance match um, with some of the best players that did not make it to the finals, and Blue will get his chance in that one, uh, which is pretty exciting. But SpongeBob here picking China. Uh, it's gonna be interesting, yeah. Very surprising. I thought he was gonna stay with his Oprinchniks, but he has the Chinese here, and he that's probably not wanted to mix it up some stuff. So yeah. our players couldn't predict him that much. Yeah, so I like the new Civ choices here from some of these players. Um, so then up to the right of him is Nally Pew, the winner from game number three, who played with Germany. Um, very exciting. Uh, see some Germany action in this one. I think everyone knows how good the War Wagons can be late game. And, uh, yeah, just very excited to get in with this one here. Um, I don't think he's been too favorited. I think he's just kind of one of those average players in terms of the uh, polls. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if he can come out on top and surprise us here. Uh, but it looks like he's got a pretty good position in the north. Um, and then to the right of him, playing with the British, we do have Scrubs McGrubs, winner from game one, who previously played with China. Uh, so get some British action here in the final, which is, I think, a great decision. Uh, I think Brits are great in free for all because you can get that housing in. If you lose your talent center, you can continue to make more villagers. Uh, so we'll see how that works out for him. Uh, but yeah, let's look at some of these players' decks. So let's start out with Danzel here, um, as everyone's starting to get their age ups. So Danzel's deck, um, no resource crates or a villager no resource cards. Crates? What? No, yeah. Um, That's insane. Yeah, pretty surprising That's there. Kind of risky. He's got. He's got a lot of military cards. Uh, but he I, has I, no troops as well. Yeah, all he has is the two heavy cannons. A very interesting, 
interesting decision Imagine there. If someone rushed him. <laughs> yeah, that would be. That could be bad. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, you gotta you gotta risk it sometimes because those those cards can make a big difference late game. Yeah, definitely. Um, so you kind of gotta have a trade off there. So I think that's a pretty solid Spanish deck. I'm excited to see Unction in action. Uh, and yeah, let's go over to Tim. See what Tim's got. I'm I'm assuming the pretty similar Portuguese deck. Oh, and he's already got a dock out. So maybe a a water boom here with Portugal. He just hits the age up. Definitely plausible. Um, so yeah, he sent out Schooners first, and he's got Economic Theory out. Um, pretty standard port deck, I though, though, uh, those H4 cards are very powerful. He's got those all loaded up, especially with the extra range of Mortars and, uh, Dragoons. So that'll be, that'll be pretty exciting there. Uh, no unit shipments from him either, so, so far no, no unit shipments at all. That's a bit scary. <laughs> yeah, it is. SpongeBob Everyone just likes focus so much on endgame. Yeah, yeah, exactly. SpongeBob already getting the walls out. <laughs> no, no surprise here. Uh, I guess purple is too, so we got we got multiple guys getting walls out. But uh let's let's check out his deck up there. So he's playing with China. And he, he has some resource crates. He's got pikes in there too, so he does have some units. Um a lot of military cards. I think it's a pretty standard deck overall. He does have the uh, fueling mills with a livestock one, so villagers gather food from livestock faster by three hundred percent. That could be that could be kind of significant. He's got some sheep already, so we'll see if that gets played at all. I've never actually used that card as China, so that could be kind of cool. I think it's, I think it's definitely gonna help him once the hunts. Yeah. Uh, gonna go out. Yeah, I don't know. Do you use hunts that often? Uh, the herbals, I mean. <laughs> like building that. Just like in village, probably not like a real use. They usually just hunt down and just go for mills. Yeah, it's pretty nice though with China because they have those villages. They can they can toss other sheep out there and not have to yeah. invest any resources elsewhere. So I think that could be kind of cool. Um, let's check on Nally Pew's deck here. Probably gonna be a pretty similar one the last time. Yeah, so no no military uh, shipments. Got settler wagons in there, and. Pretty pretty solid German deck. I think the big ones for Germany are is that Gilded Artisans card, age four. Pretty significant there. It increases settler wagon gather weight by thirty five percent. Um and then Germantown Farmers is pretty important too, because he lets it train settler wagons from the mills. But uh What do you think about the Solingen Steel card? Most people have like controversy about is it worth it to sacrifice speed? Or like damage and hit points. Yeah, that's a good question. I, I'm not a big fan of it using it myself, because uh, I think Dops definitely yeah. need to be able to chase things down. But at the same time, if you're using Dops for more of a siege, uh, then this card could be pretty good because it increases by 50%. Um, and I think maybe later in the game that could be helpful because uh, you can use the war wagons to chase down Cav, and then the Dops can just take down buildings and stuff. Um, but I think it kind of depends too, because it does take Dops a while to train in comparison. So that's an interesting card. What do you think about it? I think it's not worth it just because like Doppelers like are the best counters, especially against Calorie. Yeah. And even against Skimmishes, but like if Skimmishes run away with like just decent micro, Doppelers will have a hard time to reach him with like 33% lower speed. Yeah, that's good that's points. Like... Alright, so let's go down to Scrubs. Check them out here. That name. <laughs> Scrubs and Scrubs. It's such a great name, isn't it? And his, his uh, Discord's I Am Pro, bro, which is kind of exciting. Oh. Um, Alright, dude, Grenadier Cart is in his deck. That's hype. He's got eight villies, 1,000 wood, and one town center, age three. Um, and he does have his states, age four. That's a pretty interesting card. I've never actually used that, but I can see that being kind of effective here. Uh... 100% train time difference, but you can train villies from manners. So I'd be interested to see that card in action. I Wait, mean, don't you think that Scrubs Magrubs is might rush? Do you see his like H2 cards? Yeah, with the the resource crates. Yeah, it has a lot of resource crates in H2 specifically. Yeah, I think a lot of that probably is going out to building manners. We'll see. He's actually got two barracks coming out right now towards the north of his base, so we could actually be seeing a double. Double barracks attack here, maybe towards red. I'm not sure, um, but that could be very interesting because he is walling off the south, and then he kind of has those barracks in the north. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. That's kind of exciting. 
I'd love to see a rush early in this game, man. That'd be amazing. <laughs> yeah, hopefully we'll do. But in the meantime, it looks like purple has gone fully on the water, dude. He's almost got four docks out already. That's so many fishing ships. Yeah, he's got a lot of fishing ships. It's going to be interesting, I think, for the investment on water on this map because there are no whales. So, like, once the food runs out, your fishing ships are kind of useless. Yeah. So, it's going to be an interesting investment. Would you go water on this map? Probably not. I usually play Dutch, so I just go with bang, boom. That's yeah. typically. Yeah, I mean, you don't you really... that you are the only one who has any dogs now. Like, literally nobody else has. Yeah, no one else He's is going bunches. water. Yeah, that's gonna be it's gonna be interesting because if no one can test him, he could have an easy, easy uh, food grab right there because you won't have to worry about hunts. We'll have to keep an also, eye on that. Also, have you noticed one thing that some players didn't spawn with coin mine? Like SpongeBob, I think, Timinator as well, and we literally have to move your villagers like for a way to like mine that's coins. That's very interesting. They, I know they did respawn a few times on this uh, to get it. Times. To get oh no, I think they did five times total, uh, because they had a few winter spawns, and then I guess there were maybe a few coin mine issues. But yeah, that could be an interesting, interesting he thing here. It doesn't. It doesn't really look like anyone has two coin mines that are close to them. Like their first one is, it's somewhat close, but the second one is always very far away. Yeah, but like check like the uh, Timinator and SpongeBob. Do you yeah. see the coin mines next they're, to them? No, no, yeah, they're 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 further away than others, but that's still pretty interesting. That hey, actually have you seen, like the SpongeBob army. Like, yeah, he looks like he's expecting a rush. Yeah, he's got two. Actually, a uh, Danzel's going into Tim's base right now. Uh, on the border. Going in with some musketeers and hoods. It's gonna be kind of interesting. So I... He's just patrolling. I don't know. I because Tim and Air doesn't have any any uh, barracks or anything like that. So he's he's going actually now. Yeah, he's he's about to get in. Oh, <laughs> he's he going in. Let that beast, uh, boom. Yeah, this actually the <clears throat> the coin mine actually could be beneficial because it's outside of Tim and Air's base, and he's going to continue to grab coin while this attack's going in. He doesn't have to put his villagers inside. Also, check out Scrubs. He, he's spamming bikes. No oh more. my gosh, he's almost got like 50 yep. pikes already. <laughs> and he's already, he's probably gonna go for just like... Dude, he's so, like, he's so going for a rush with those pikes. Oh my god, oh pikes, he's playing so risky. Oh my so, god, and German's like oh, already in H3, we have skirmishes, he's like making some defense. Let's check if he sees the pikes or not. Yeah, what what do you see on that? Okay, sec. Four, Tim right four. now is, is tossing out oh, the uh, extra Minutemen to defend against this. Should be okay, I think. Sorry, in space. Oh, that Alpha was just way too late. The villager is going down. Second village went to the town center. Does he have any barracks? No, he's just defending straight with oh, Minutemen. That's so bad. <clears throat> and does he even have like a? Yeah, he has colonial militia, and he used it, so that's yeah. gonna help him a lot. I think uh, that's a pretty solid card with uh, Portugal. Because you get so many town centers, you can accumulate a large amount of those uh, militia. It's a pretty solid yeah. card, and it increases your town center attack. I don't think like Dancer is keeping the rush alive. Like he's not sending any reinforcements, is he? No, he but he is attacking wait. on the water. He has a uh, caravel that's out attacking right oh, now. Yeah. He built a dock, and then <laughs> so many... SpongeBob's coming in for an attack as well. Who is gonna attack? Coming in for uh, purple here. No way. 13 minutes, 15 seconds in. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I see it now. Damn. Dude, those Minutemen are... Unlucky. Totally unlucky. Yeah, those Minutemen are pretty low health. He needs the barracks as soon as possible. Those Alpos won't gonna save him. I don't know, man. He's, he's putting these outposts up. And these fishing ships are also dying. Bit by bit, slowly. I don't know, man. He's got a lot of... He's got a lot of guys in there. I don't know if these outposts are gonna... Nope. Gonna There's only one outpost. 
He's got... Okay. Dude, this is gonna be interesting. And he's not putting any uh, ships out in the war to contest that one caravel from from blue either. He has four cards not unused. You know that? Terminator's like just yeah, like I, stuck. Maybe. No, I think he's probably trying to save it for age four, but at the same time, he definitely could send some of those in. And probably those resource gathering would help out. Also, check out the army of... <laughs> oh, and, and the pikes? Oh my gosh, check out those pikes, man. So many. Well, the thing is, like, the German next to him, Red, has, like, kind of decent army of skirmishers. So yeah, he does have... He, a bit. Yeah, he does have some skirms. Dude, I don't know, though. That's a lot of pikes, man. That is... I'm gonna check on that. It looks like Spongebob is losing, and he's sending some small uh, reinforcements. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like he's gonna pull out. What time are you at right now? I just hit 15. Um, 15 minutes, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm surprised he's not. Or uh, Tim's not spawning any caravels to contest the Don't one on the water. Don't tell me he didn't notice that. Like, okay, he now notes now. He's moving all his fishing ships. I said what was few. Yeah. Was SpongeBob. Imagine SpongeBob got like a cannon to shoot those ships next to him. They're right next to the shore. He's attacking with his uh, explorer. <laughs> He's killed, killed the fishing ship with his explorer. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, it's literally doing a lot of damage. That's oh, funny. He killed it. He killed yeah. the ship. Yeah. And now the Pike army is rushing. Check out the Pike army. Oh, dude, they're going in. Oh, my dude. That's... Like oh, 130 so population army. Dude, the skirms are coming out to contest. I don't think there's no way that that red's gonna be able to defend this. There are too many oh pikes. Look at that, the wall's almost down already. Yeah. <laughs> oh so my pikes. gosh. I almost cross like those longbow men are gonna counter skirmishes quite well. Yeah. He sent just he has the cav sent cav are pikes. <laughs> just got wrecked. <laughs> pikes are going in, dude. And he, like he has pikes thing. attacking his villagers in the north as well. Does he have any villagers in the south? I don't think so. This is yeah, this is it, dude. The red's not going to survive this attack. I wonder. Do you think he's going to resign or is he going to continue playing? I have no idea. Because be the thing is with this map is you don't have anywhere to escape. He resigns. Oh my goodness. Wow. He's, he yeah. resigned. So first player out is red. That was so fast. What an attack from yellow though. You got to give it to him. <clears throat> I mean like, I think everyone would be scared if you would see so many bikes. I know, but that's, that's crazy, man. That's kind of why I wanted to choose this map because players can't just like run around and stay alive. Yeah. It, that's like, kind of. Don't you like when people like try to like survive? I, for I no no I do, I do like that, but at the same time, it, this makes it more difficult. So, it's it's a little bit more skilled if you can do it. But yeah, dude, that's okay, crazy. That purple got some the, the ships to defend. Yeah, he does fishing have some caravels now. Like, do you see how little fishing ships are left? There's only like ten or so. That is true. Has he been? I don't think he's been spawning many in. He's got he's got a few more spawning in. Oh, he just spawned two more caravels too. Hey, have you noticed also the economic score? Even for Scrubs has the biggest army, his yeah. economic score is the biggest as well. How yeah. is that possible? It's the like, bridge boom, man. Gotta oh. love it. <laughs> so OP, please nerf. It, it it is pretty good, man. And the sp the pike spam especially is easy to do because you're already gathering wood for your homes. So you can just toss a few more on uh, the production of pikes, and he can get a bunch of pikes. Yeah. I wonder, do you think he's gonna try to attack Denzel now? Uh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, probably not. He, he does Let's have see. a dock too, so. But I'm like, I'm looking forward if someone's gonna attack SpongeBob, like, everyone we were talking about, like, yeah. we were gonna attack SpongeBob or something, but like, SpongeBob is just chilling, like not doing anything, just like turtling, as typically. Yeah, yes, he does. I mean, that's what he did last game, and he came out on top for it, so <laughs> let's see if he pays a penalty. I think the thing is, too, though, is that it is China. He has to make sure he has constant wood. Um, 
Because if he runs out of wood, if an opponent has a good cavalry, which yeah. we know Germany, I mean not Germany, uh, British and uh, Spain, they'll both have good cav with the Lancers and the Guard Hussars from uh, Britain. So, I don't know, I'll see if that turns out to be an issue. Also, do you see like how little space every player has? Like, if you check Portuguese, like, all his cities basically, like, touching his walls already. Yeah. I think that is, too, though. He's trying to turtle in a little bit. He's not trying to spread out too far, so. But, yeah, you are right. There are There is not too much. Yellow has a lot of space to play with now, though, because he took out Red's base. Yep. Exactly. So. He's going to get all his resources, all his hunts, everything. Yeah. And at the moment, Tim is spawning in a large amount of fishing ships back out, so... He's trying to replenish that. Like, I still cannot believe that he's the only person in the water so far. Yeah, like, that... Dance has, like, just a dog, but that's it. I agree. I'm, I'm very surprised, too. I think especially because people should know that Portugal likes to go on the water. Yeah. But, we'll see here. He's He's got a coin issue. Um, So he's starting to build plantations in the back. I'm he... also around 20 minutes now. Uh, yeah, I just hit 20. Are you... All right, do you see that pike moving up more? Oh, oh yeah, the about. yellow pikes. <laughs> like, yep. he, he might he might not be going for Danzel, he might be going for uh, for SpongeBob I like here. SpongeBob. I think I was, almost... I think SpongeBob's solid. SpongeBob's solid, of course. Yeah. Almost all the... I don't know, I think the majority of viewers would be in favor of someone annihilating SpongeBob. Oh, come on, man. Like... He just did, like, a little bit of dirty play, that's it. Dude, did you see the comments, though? Everyone was livid. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're like, start a petition to, to get blue in. I felt Especially so bad. That comment of, like, Romans between a striker and Spongebob. <laughs> Hilarious. Yeah. Okay, he's falling back with his army now. For some reason, he moved it and fallen back. Like, why could he do that? I'm not sure. He does have a villager, though, in between the... The teal walls. You see that up there? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and SpongeBob is moving his army north. Dan still got some heavy cannons, two falconets. Some oh spears. yeah! And he's got some unction starting already. Ooh. Scrubs just went age four. Danzel is age four too. Okay. But yeah, he's got the lowest score out of everyone. I'm surprised like, he dance is like one of the highest PR players over here. Yeah, I'm surprised he hasn't grabbed more town centers. Yeah, that's definitely strange. China has three. Obviously, ports have a lot, and British don't really need it with the housing boom, but it's still kind of surprising. Check the Minator's villager population. Is he is he up there already? That's insane. That's yeah insane. yeah yeah. I wonder how many of those are fishing ships. I don't know. So Probably, I don't know. Actually, Dancel has the least villagers from all players. And he's got 45, wow. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, what happened to you? Like, he's not fighting anyone. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know, let's see what kind of... Maybe he sent in some... Let's check out he, what he, cars he, he sent. He has been sending in military cars. He sent in the hand cavalry attack and hand cavalry hit points H2. And then he did send an unction as well, so he's not getting any economic boosts. And now he's sitting in his factory. Finally. That's interesting. Long time. Yeah. Maybe he was like expecting that yellow might rush him instead of somewhere in the north. Possibly. I'm not too sure. Oh, yellow does have a navy that's forming though. You see yellow's ships over there? Maybe oh, he's yeah. gonna try to contest purple on the water. Aren't those fish canoe? Uh, are we fishing ships? The canoes, they they can uh, fish and attack at the same time. Oh. The native canoes. No, I <laughs> yeah, I think they're using them for attack though. Oh, one ship is getting close to the fishing ship, so... Diminator? Yeah. But he's not attacking. He's oh, he, he's like... picking up his pikes. He's gonna pick up the pikes. I think, I think that's what, yeah, yeah, I think that's what he's gonna do. And like, hey, check out. So who doesn't have a wall next to their coast? Everyone has. Yeah. I wonder if he thinks he's going to attack Spongebob or... Maybe maybe he's going to attack Tim because Tim's on the water. Oh, the fishing boats are... They're on the move. Everyone's on the move. He's it's got... Oh, dude, just both of his caravels and his galleon all have units in them. 
You see the unit flags? Oh, yeah. He's going towards SpongeBob's base. Oh. Yeah, he's going. <gasps> but, like, don't tell me he's gonna release his troops next to SpongeBob's army. Do you see that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, is he going for purple? He's going to port. He's no going way. for purple. What? Why is he going for port, bro? It doesn't make any sense. I think he wants to take the water. He wants to make sure Tim doesn't get it. So he, he's got one that's dropping off. The other one's about to get hit from some ships. And one caravel is down. He dropped off some there. So he lost a bunch of units in that one caravel, but we have the other ones coming in now with the pikes. Pikes are on the land enough. making movement. Can SpongeBob see that army? I, I, don't, I don't know. Let's yeah, check. he sees it. He sees it? He sees okay. It. He's probably just watching at the moment. So it looks like... I smell 2v1 now. <laughs> Possibly. Do, do you think... Oh, dude, Danzel's going on the other side with the heavy cannons. Oh, Are, they're gonna oh my pinch God. him in. Nathan, lucky. Yep, 2v1 again. Tim does have some culverins already, if you can see. So he, he could take out those heavy cannons. And he does have he two organ guns as well. Place. I'm pretty he, sure Yellow is gonna lose these spikes. Yeah, the, min the Minutemen are going to do a great job inside these walls. And so are those organ guns. He's got one wall down, though. And Danzel's slowly advancing with that Musketeer army. Hey, I think I know why Danzel's economy score is so low. He might be doing a strategy where he doesn't try to build his economy very early, fast, so players would be less likely oh. to unite against him. Oh, that could be, that could be very yeah. true. I've never thought That's about that. That's kind of strange, but... Yeah. Very bold if that is the case. I would say that's a bold strategy. <laughs> that is that's just reverse thing. reverse psychology. Yeah. Okay, he's falling back. Yeah, he's he's hitting and running with these musketeers. Do you see what uh, yellow is doing to the efficient ships of purple? He's literally killing them. Oh yeah. The canoes do a great job with that because they're so cheap. But <clears throat> But it looks like purple almost like got all the fishing fishes in the yeah lake. he got his, his, his investment out of it so most of yellow's pikes are gone danzel's trying to make some shots here with these cannons he didn't even do much damage he just got one wall and just closed another one we're sending some convoy again so the missions he's got 10 missions which is the max and then he's got these musketeers in there too trying to take down these outposts with the cannons it looks like and Culverins are going to come in and try counter that. Orga guns as well. Well, he's falling back with those guns, you see? Yeah. Yeah, he's playing very safely. So I, he definitely needs to do that with the heavy cannons because those are... Those with unction are vital. They do a definitely. great amount of damage. Oh, Dancer didn't see that he has three Culverins. And all his heavy cannons went down. He's sending some musketeers. Is he gonna attack the cannons with musketeers? Yep. Yeah, he's gonna try to go around. He lost one already. Dance Took out a cauldron. If you check Dancel, he's even running out of food. He has only 600. And yeah. 57 villagers. Yellow spamming, is spamming more walls. <laughs> Dude, Yellow's more setting more up for the late game, man. Yellow's looking Fun. good. I, I'm honestly surprised with... with uh, Scrubs and McGrubs performance so far. Yeah, he did amazing. Call on Onkeli and military. Already killed one player so early in the game. Yeah, I, I think he's going to be a big underdog in this one. Uh, players didn't really vote for him too much. I think also because of his game didn't have that many players, so we couldn't really see his full potential. But yeah, early rush is very surprising. I don't think Wait, anyone expected it. Rush in his previous game as well. No, was he, he that, the first game was like everyone sat back for around 40 minutes, and the first one attack oh. was until like an hour in. Rip. So, yeah, he completely, completely changed that and just went in for the pike rush. Nice, nice. He probably I, saw like that this type of games are just too boring to play or something. Maybe. But yeah, okay, that, now, so yeah, boom. Yellow is building two bar our barracks and artillery. Oh, dude, yes, side, he, he's that? got a villager over here. Do you think, wow, <clears throat> do you think he dropped that off when he deployed the pikes? Hey, do you see it? The teal is moving towards the purple. Yeah, teal's in. That's crazy, though. This could, this forward base could be causing problems for purple. So it looks well, like I... everyone's attacking purple right now. Why purple? Like, 
<laughs> we don't see the chat, so maybe like we might against him. I'm not sure. Yeah, I but, do have um, SpongeBob's game recording, so I am gonna check the chat and insert comments if they're pretty important over the over this video. So we'll get to yeah, see I some comments. I know why everyone was attacking Timinator because he had the biggest score and the most villagers. Yeah, I think also because he was on the water, everyone kind of knew he had a good advantage there. Yeah. But dude, this is a big battle right now. And it's not going good for him. Dominator is losing all his troops. I would say though, overall, this turtle is doing a great job for him. I think he's doing a good job with the, the turtle. He has the town centers all close. So they all, if, no matter which one he sieges, they're all gonna shoot the other one. Uh, and then he's got the outpost in a good range too. But he doesn't, yeah, he's trying to build more outposts. He doesn't have that many troops though. Let's check if the SpongeBob can see the yellows barracks. Yep, he can see. Oh, uh, do you see those petards of yellows? Oh my god! Oh my goodness, yellow with the petard spam! Oh my gosh, That's he's insane. making more. <clears throat> That's so insane. That's gonna be incredible. Like SpongeBob sees that, he knows that those petards might go to his base, maybe. Yeah, I wonder. I think. What do you think though? You think he's probably going for purple, don't you think? Or you think he's gonna go for teal? I hope he goes for Spongebob. <laughs> that would be that would be amazing twist. Spongebob's whole army is here and then he gets attacked. Yeah. Saying on lots of reinforcements. Kidansel is keeping the pressure from the south as well. Yeah, he's almost got... Wow, he's got some horse cannons too. And some dragoons. That's a pretty solid army right there. But still small compared to what Spongebob has. That's true, but with the unction, those units are much stronger than they are they look those those heavy uh horse guns can do some very significant damage with that unction i hope we get to see him in action against some infantry but so far man all the town centers are down teal is starting to get through and he's got a lot of cast doors though i think these cast doors might be able to defend what he's got left but yellow's still massing petrards 29 already 39 now. It's oh very exciting. God. SpongeBob is moving his defenses close to the trade road. So he's. he's oh, he does. Yeah. He does see it. I think. I don't know. I don't know where. I don't know what he's going to go for. We'll have to find out. I'm excited to see this. I but SpongeBob rush, but mostly because SpongeBob is now focusing on defense. He's not sending any reinforcements. Yeah. So Portugal like has Dan survived. Me off. Yeah, I, do you think he's, he has to go in right now if he wants to take advantage? Yeah. But I think he defended that pretty decently. I mean, he only lost his town centers and a few houses. He oh, didn't get no. to his eco. We see that. What Petars is doing? They're on the move. Oh my goodness. Yep. And you're going towards purple. Poor purple. Like. He's gonna see it with the villagers here. He's got all these villagers on wood. Hey, like samurai, did you notice that, like three per people went against purple? Yeah, the three v one. All right, he's got the castadors trying to block off these guys. But they're still gonna go through. Yeah, I think he should. I if he would have put them in melee, they might have been able to stop it a little better. Oh, that's not good. He's the town center going down. Oh, he's got him going around the town center too. So he's got through an, a layer of wall. The second layer is almost down. During this too, he's got his musketeers attacking villagers. Oh, that's bad for him. And houses are gonna go down too. The Minator lost like almost 50 villagers. Yeah, he's losing ships on the water as well as his villagers on the land. And uh, Danzel's much. coming in on the side too now. Oh, that's so awful to see it. Feels bad. Wait, he's is getting. Is gonna attack Yellow's base? Yeah, he's attacking Yellow's base now. He's he's like around the fence. Yeah, he's about to. I don't know, dude. He's he's got a few guys going in. Oh, Danson got the Socorro monitor. <laughs> Oh yeah, he does have a monitor out, yeah. 
We're just taking out all those fishing boats. So Teal lost all of it. I mean, uh, Purple lost all of his fishing boats. And here we go, dude. Castador's coming in to attack. Oh, no, he's not. I want to see these horse cannons with Unction attack those Castadors so bad. It should be soon. Very and soon. it looks like Teal backed off of uh, Yellow's base. But Yellow's still trying to send in more petards. It's kind of funny. Oh my god, like... It's just Yellow trolling this game or something. I don't know, man. He's, he's causing rush, problems. Dude, here we go. The horse cannons are about to go in against these Casadors. Watch how... He's moving them back. Yeah, watch how much siege damage they do against buildings with this unction. Oh, that's so much. They almost do a, like a mortar's amount. And like they shoot fast as well. They yeah. move fast as well. Yeah. That's OP. That's so OP. That's very good for sure. I'd be interested to see if he gets some dragoons with this army. Oh man, the town center is down. It's looking very bad for Terminator. Yeah, almost all of his fishing boats are down. And Yellow is trying to make some progress with his canoes. And it looks like he's going to go back. Cassadors still... Oh, I thought they were going to go in. Sorry, we are going to say something. Okay, he got some two cool runes to fight those heavy horse guns. Oh, yeah, he does, he does have them, yeah. <clears throat> well, Purple is also losing his all ships. He lost every single fishing ship. He's using his last barrier. Yeah, they're about to get... Oh, Culverns are going in now. And let's try and move over these horse cans. Dude, I want to see these horse cans take some shots here. He's unlimbering them. Oh, man. Was missionary. Yeah, so the missionaries uh, with Unction give a attack boost to all the units. Oh, um, okay. So it's kind of like a, the Japanese Daimyo. You know the Daimyo yeah. for Japan? It's kind of similar to that. Um, he has so many of them. Yeah, so having 10 of them gives them the maximum boost that he can get. And then, additionally, they're very fast, so they can they can run around and uh, escape getting killed. Uh, so they're very hard to deal with. So military looks like Dan still has like an upper hand. He might do very well in the end of the game. Yeah, I think that unction, especially with uh, lancers, if you get to see some lancer action, uh, they could be very devastating, especially against these castadors. Yeah. Dan's still attacking with some animals to get some yeah. information. Yeah, war dogs coming in. <laughs> Send the army of dogs. You see that? That's like the dance still ones are still at, like attacking dogs. Yeah, like, he is. He is tagging with that one. What is Yellow doing? His base is nothing yet. It looks very chill so far. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think you gotta think that some of these players are gonna start saving up for spies at some point. Yeah. I haven't checked on any of their, their ecos. Scrubs has almost no coin. So he, he's yeah. just going for investments right now. SpongeBob doesn't have that much either. So everyone's still going in for investments. That's too early to say if people are going to go in for spies yet. But it could be something that they could do since they're not getting attacked. They could kind of save up for it. But still like so many thousands of coin needed for spies. Yeah. I don't think it's worth it in such a small map. Where you can like basically get a lot of information just by sending maybe one ship or so, just moving your army for trade. That is that is true. I think the one thing is, is that if someone gets spies, you almost have to have it to compete. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see if anyone goes for it at all, or if they just focus on attacks. It's also kind of interesting that Scrubs didn't build any base in the like in the red red place is still empty. Yeah, it, has no it, it is still empty. Infrastructure. Yeah, we'll have to see. He is slowly, if you see it by the trade post that he has, he's starting to build walls out that way too. Yeah. But so purple is re recovering. <laughs> he has like a minute break. Yeah, but no yellow is spam spawning more petars. It won't end yet. <laughs> that's that's great, dude. He's got some mortars chilling out there too. So this is Why gonna does be. Purple built some mortars, like. I think maybe he wants to try to take out those buildings that Yellow has. Wait, did he even see that? Let's check. 
fog of war. Yeah, he knows that yellow has a forward base. But it looks like so unfair towards Timinator, like everyone is against him. Yeah, everyone like is against him. A Spongebob and yellow are not even fighting. Even for like yellow has a forward base right next to Spongebob. Yeah. No, yeah, teal and yellow have not fought, blue and teal haven't fought, and blue and yellow haven't fought, so... Also check out what each player, um, like, explored. There's not any player who explored and knows where everyone are. That is like very male. true. Like, Tim Indicator doesn't even know where most of the players are, he just explores the watch, <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that's kind of funny. SpongeBob knows only two players, <laughs> red and purple. That is... That's kind of <laughs> crazy. Okay, Spongebob is building some four bases in Red's territory. Ah, uh, yeah, he he's advancing. Going against Yellow. Well, like, would... To be honest, like going against Yellow would be a bad idea. Because he has four base from both fronts, from left and right. Yeah, I think it could easily take out the small base that he has in the, in the west. Patchards are going in the purple's base on the south now. He's broken through some walls. And he's trying to come in with some cavalry. Mortar's going down. Cav's coming in hot. Hey, son. Yep. Sorry, go okay. ahead. What the, at what time are you? I'm at almost about to hit 39. Oh, okay. No, you're good. Wait. Alright, just hit 39. All right. You're, I think so you were a little bit ahead of me for, for a second yeah, there. Definitely am. No, it's all good. Do you see the Hussars in the south? We literally should just sneak into his base. Yeah, I don't I don't know man. I think he's gotta get a bigger army to come in. I think that the dragoons can deal with that pretty easily. But the Minator is running out of food. He's he has only forty seven villagers. That's a big loss. That is that is true. Also, he doesn't have any wood or like a wood supply. Yeah, he's also being attacked by blue at the same time. <laughs> That's crazy, man. And there's more feathers coming. Even more. Dude, this never-ending petard spam is crazy. <laughs> That's just horrible. Now everyone is just gonna comment in the YouTube section that ban yellow or something. <laughs> yeah. So we got the Imperial horse guns are coming in. We got dragoons here too. Uh, this is gonna be a very interesting combo here. I think that Danzil's got the edge, especially with those lancers as well. Look at that, dude. It's, that's crazy, dude. Going down yeah, one shot. No chance. So Portugal is being tested to the limit here. So that one imperial horse gun shoots 700 damage to a building. Yeah. From one shot. Yeah, yeah. 700. It, it basically turns it into a mortar. <laughs> but guys, like, let's appreciate how much effort Timinator is like putting in to defending his base against three people. Yeah, absolutely. Big shouts out like, to most him people for sure. Will probably already quit by this time. Very true. Just by how unfair that is. Yeah. And these horse cans are. I was expecting Dancil. I was expecting Dancil to be like more, you know, like moral. <laughs> Not attack more, like more moral? No morals in the finals? Are you kidding me? No, uh, I, so. I agree. But it is interesting because you get to see what people's personalities come out as in the final. Yeah. It's, everything's on the line here. The... Oh. Moving in. Sneaking in. Sorry, what did you say? You cut out there for a second. Uh, do you see... In the south. Yeah. He's... Damn, dude, this is rough. This is a rough rough patch for Portugal. He doesn't have much to deal with. Like, he has no chance of that, that, that happening. And, and like, yellow is still, like, attacking. Blue is still attacking, like... Yeah. Just, factory just is it. down. Portugal's factory went down. So he has one factory left. Also, you see Teal in the north is building that army inside Red's base. Yep, yep. I wanted to mention that already. <laughs> oh, sorry. So hopefully, it, hopefully it, that someone is going to attack yellow. I really hope so. I think, it'll, yeah, I think Teal will. And I think maybe Blue will finish off Teal. I mean, Blue will finish off Purple. <laughs> we'll have to see here. I just, I just realized what could happen in the future. I'm not sure, but imagine, like, Purple is probably going to go down either way. Because he already lost a lot. Yeah. If Purple goes down, 
then Dance might, instead of attacking yellow, he might go for Spongebob. Yeah. And then yellow might go against Spongebob. And then there'll be a double team there. <laughs> I guess. Maybe. It, se team. it seems like yellow and blue are on good terms because they've been next to each other the whole time and haven't attacked each other. Yeah, that's true. So, yeah, that could be interesting. But that entire first base area for purple has been cleared out. Entirely. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so China's got two armies on both sides here. Now Terminator has only 31 villager. Yeah. He, ran out of food. he has like no food. He's very stuck in this situation. Dance has 81 villagers so far. His eco is doing more and more better. Yeah, he's slowly getting up. I, I would be very interested to see if he's actually playing uh, not as good so people don't attack him. <laughs> that's, a, that's like the boldest strategy you can ever have. Next level boldness. Scrubs is like running out of wood. A lot. He needs more wood. Yeah, definitely. He is building a lot of walls. You can see there he's starting to build up there in Red's base. Trying to get that yeah. border there. And he's also running out of trees in his base. Doesn't have many options. Yeah. Brits need that wood for sure. So we'll see if he goes up and grabs now some more. Bob is occupying Red's place. More I'm surprised land. Yellow didn't do that before. So now it's just SpongeBob is taking that chance. That's a good chance. Yeah, that thing that was a good good decision. Let's check, uh, I want to check resource, uh, specifically on coins, see if anyone's going for spies here. Wow, Spongebob's got a lot of coin. Yeah, Spongebob might go for it. Scrubs doesn't have too much, Tim is getting slaughtered. And then Danzel doesn't have too much either, so... Maybe Spongebob will get spies, that could be a big time for him. Yeah. I wish we could kind of figure out how much spies is. It'd be nice to know. Also, it would be interesting to see if anyone tries to do a trade monopoly victory. Oh, I don't think so. Like, like, do you see how scattered a trade monopoly is? Yeah. Like, there's so many trading posts, and like, each player has a few. All right, Danzel is attacking Timonair in the south. He's got more horse cannons and musketeers. Oh, walls are going down fast. There's no chance for purple to defend. Even dragoons won't save. Yeah, he's gotta he's have. He's really gotta low. get those casadors. He's got. Oh, he's got culverts here. I think he's he gotta get some casadors to uh, help see? take out these guys, but we'll see. But he needs to use those culverts directly against those cannons. Okay, he's killing some imperial horse guns. <clears throat> I just hit that 45 minutes. Uh oh. Okay. You're all good. Looks like Dance made a mistake. You will see in the note in the. Uh, yeah, in he's one. bringing him very close. Yep, too he, close. He is taking out a few uh, culverins, though, with those cannons. And all culverins are dead now. This factory yeah. is definitely going to go down. Uh, it's so bad. And. Yep. Yeah, how much. I got. I don't know. How much. He has no food, so Timonair can't even spawn in any any units to defend. It looks like GG for you. SpongeBob is like taking more and more aggressively the north. Yeah, he's continuing to wall that up. Where's Yellow's army? Yeah, I, I haven't seen anything. He's got some rockets uh by his like his northern town center. Um kinda by where Teal's walls are, he's got some rockets there. He's building barracks is next to that. Oh yes, I know. But I haven't really seen too much, too much more. Okay, so Scrubs has like some ships, but he doesn't have a lot of. Oh, S units. SpongeBob just got spies. Oh, that's big time play. I think he got spies in the game four as well first. That is big time, dude. Hey, do you think that everyone's gonna attack him just because he has spies? <laughs> that honestly, that could be a thing. That's a good reason to attack. Yeah, yeah him. that's a great reason to attack. <laughs> great Cass's belly. That's funny. Danzel. What cards people use? 
Oh yeah, that's probably a good idea too while this is happening. Danzel's still marching through. Let's check out cards. So I'm gonna go with SpongeBob's first. Um he's got old Han reforms and his train times. Also got Royal Mint and Refrigeration in there. Uh and then he's got a few eco cards in as well. So his economy's flying. And I would say his his army's pretty decent as long as he uses old Han reforms. Yeah. This is looking pretty good. Um let's go check out the scrubs. In the meanwhile, Dance lost all his cannons to Kulverins. But oh, he man. still has a massive army. Yeah, he's got those musketeers. He's sending more lancers. Yeah, those musketeers are gonna be tanks. Very hard oh, to deal with. Going so fast. Like in an instant. It's yeah. like option crash pretty much, just with <laughs> infantry. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. Um Scrubs has sent in uh improved grenades. And as much tier grenadier combat card. Uh, both train times, royal mint, and refrigeration. Advanced arsenal. Um, he sent in estates. And then he's got the uh, yeoman shipment in there too. So pretty heavy on the military upgrades. Let's see if that works out for him later in the game. Um, let's check out Danzel. <clears throat> yeah, so sent in royal mint and refrigeration as well. Um, also has advanced arsenal. Uh, he sent in sustainable agriculture, cigar ruler. Uh, so he's got some more eco cards, but he has a lot of military cards there. I'd say he's pretty balanced. He's got good balance there. He has yeah. a lot of economics cards. Like, yeah. To increase the percentage of gallery. I think that, that could be helpful because he might not have to have any, as many villagers gathering and they could focus more on population for yeah. military. We'll have to see here. Um... And let's check out Tim, even though it looks like Tim's about to go down. So he sent in all of his important age four cards. He sent in a lot of cards, man. You see that XP, how much it's contributed to his... Wait, why he didn't send free 2 p alleys, or I just missed that? I he didn't use that card. Yeah, he hasn't He hasn't used that it yet. That helped him a lot. It is an infinite card, so he can send it in as many times as he wants, but... Yeah, exactly. And he has a lot of gold. Yeah. I remember kind of chilling now, not even doing much in military. Danzel and Purple are just like fighting. That's it. Yeah, do you, do you think Danzel's gonna hunt him down until he's dead? Yeah, he will definitely he's, do he's that. Gonna be Without the any end. mercy. He's left that town center up over by the uh, trade post. I don't know if he'll go back for that. Oh, looks like he's going to now. He's got some guys going over. <clears throat> That's only 13 rupees. Yeah, he just, he just has time. villagers just standing there. Oh, he's he's breaking down the walls. He's gonna try to escape. Maybe he's gonna. I don't know. He's, they're still. Doesn't have to escape. That's the thing. Yeah, but if you look at his, if you look at his fog of war, it might look like he could go to the. I don't even know, honestly. <laughs> Wait, is he gonna go to the, to the trade roads and like enter the army of SpongeBob? Yeah, <laughs> dude, no, no. Like... If, if you look at his fog of war, he can't see the army. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. I'm looking at it, and he's uh, he's moving them. Oh my Much god, far. he's gonna lose them. Nine villies, eight villies, seven villies. Dude, they're and now the team is army. Wrecked. Oh my god. Wait, SpongeBob is moving his army away. But the tower shot his villies. He is. Oh. <laughs> is it? Zero <laughs> villies, but he didn't die yet. He's got two left. Oh, last one's about to go down. Yeah, he just died. Oh no. Does he no, have he any more villies? Yeah, he's not I'm done not for sure, yet. Like, oh, he's he got he's got his town center, center up still. Oh yeah. And he he Danzel's not taking the town center down. He's got those like four units that are taking it down. Oh, there's also Explorer alive. Explorer just died. That's hilarious. Is he, is he not gonna take the town center? Is he gonna show such disrespect to keep him alive or something? Dude, Tim is still in this game. Oh my god, <clears throat> zero villies. And he's building more villies, he's not surrendering. Yeah, he he's is keeping. building more. <laughs> he's still trying to survive. I absolutely love it. Tim, good job, man. Yeah, good respects, respects to, you, to Tim. Pay respects. Press F in the comments below. 
Also, just like also press F because my voice is dying. <clears throat> That's Your all voice. good. How come? I uh I volunteered at a, you, you know this, I, I volunteered at a kids camp over the weekend. Yeah. Uh, so I was screaming Free and speech. yeah screaming uh, and being energetic like all weekend for these kids. So my voice my voice is a lot better than it was two days ago. I can tell you that, but Oof. it still is a little a little rusty, but it's all good. So it looks like though that. Dude, purple's gonna stay alive. Like, Dance is just showing disrespect or something. <laughs> Not even finishing his opponent, like keeping him like half dead, half yeah, alive. Uh huh. Punch him. Dance punching him into the into the ground, but not killing him. <laughs> oh my god. Terminator got free willy so far. Going that's, to farm food. <laughs> that's crazy. It looks so, it looks so sad. Yellow is just booming. SpongeBob has insane economy so far. How many resources does SpongeBob has? Twenty, like almost like fifty thousand of important resources. Yeah, wow. About Scrubs, Scrubs has less wood, a lot less wood. Yeah, we're waiting for these two guys to square off for sure. And now you know SpongeBob is making navy, a lot of navy. Oh yeah, definitely. That's a good good eye. And I'm... he has like over too much population, two hundred thirty three. <laughs> Yeah, he's definitely up there. I think if he gets some fire junks, yeah, he's training some now. He's maybe he's gonna try to take out Yellow's navy. It's gonna be just like literally like war declaration. And if if SpongeBob is gonna go against Yellow, what is Blue's gonna do? Yeah, what do you think? SpongeBob has more economy, <laughs> so he might go against SpongeBob. He, SpongeBob also has spies too, so he knows that he knows yeah. that if. Uh, he faces SpongeBob off in a 1v1 that SpongeBob will have the advantage. Yeah, so maybe he's just gonna try to finish SpongeBob well. While he has oh a chance. God, I don't want SpongeBob to lose that early. <laughs> That's it's gonna be crazy. Answer. Also, the Lancers will slaughter. Slaughter SpongeBob if he runs out of wood. Oof. So this could be this could be interesting. It looks like his army's gearing up here. But he still has like ten thousand wood, so it should be enough. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go re refill my drink real quick. I'll be back in a second. But uh, right. yeah, you can say, I'll be right back. Uh, the time that summer is like has like small delay. So anyway, it's like SpongeBob and Yellow's Navy are fighting now. But Yellow doesn't notice that SpongeBob has a ton of ships next to his city wall, and it might be very very dangerous for Yellow to enter that zone. So far, Dance looks like he's giving some break. For purple, letting purple to rebuild for some reason. Maybe like he asked for peace or something and like they agreed, I guess. Also, it's kind of fun that Yellow took that central uh, island, built a town center. And now Sponge is just like spamming a lot of ships. Probably gonna do some upgrades as well. Alright, I'm back. He didn't... <clears throat> like, if you check SpongeBob deck, he didn't send many cards compared to other people. He has like very minimal cards. Yeah, it's probably. It's he didn't fight more? Yeah, it's probably because he's not getting kills. He's not getting the XP from uh, killing units. So that shows you how much of a difference. Because like, if you look at Timonair's deck, Timonair's been attacking almost all game, and he sends yeah. in almost all of his cards. That shows you how big of a difference it could be. Oh, Yellow's built a town center on the middle. That's pretty funny. Yep. Yep. But he didn't build any like, you know, docks or towers. Sadly. Yeah, I would. I would put a bunch of towers on that man. I would have that as my like <laughs> my main Small naval hole. base. Yeah. But dude, we got a lot of ships here from China. And he's still spam hey, at what time are you now, Samurai? I'm at I'm at five oh seven uh fifty five oh eight, fifty five oh nine. Oh okay. So yeah, I think SpongeBob is gonna go for Navy War. And he might like put his troops into base. Like did you notice that SpongeBob is like playing very like how can I say like defensively in a way that he has army in the south yeah. and in the north. Yeah. He expects them to push him to you one. He expects it. Yeah. That's gonna be interesting. So let's see if he gets it right or not soon. <laughs> I feel like he should be trying to take advantage of his time right now in attacking. Because if he waits yeah. too long, then both of his enemies will prepare. Let's check out Dancel. It looks like Dancel is gonna reach his population limit in terms of villagers soon. Mm -hmm. Getting more farms, get, getting uh, troop upgrades. I think now, if like Dancel did try to like 
plays show his economy as low as possible in the start of the game i think now he has a good chance to like build it up as fast as possible yeah reach the opponent level it is also interesting though because his score is still below scrubs and spongebob so maybe he's trying to keep it like below both of them so they don't feel like they need to attack him yeah i'm surprised scrubs score is so below spongebob how many what's the ability difference between those two um SpongeBob almost yes. has 120. Scrubs has 99. Yes. <clears throat> oh, you can see if you if you look at Scrubs economy, he has almost 80 of villagers on coins, so he's trying to get spies. Oh. Hey, but you know what? SpongeBob has so much coin, he might actually put blockade. That'd be and crazy. He might stop other people from having eyes. Yeah, he, he's he's attacking uh yellow's base on the side right now. That's a very smart decision, actually. Yeah, that's going to go down. And Spongebob's not going to have anything there now. But now, but yeah, Danzel's coming in. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Are we going to go to be one Oh, that massive army from Spongebob. Dude, Scrubs got spies. Uh, Scrubs has received spies. Dude, that's, that's big time right there. So now Danzel and Tim are the only ones that have spies. Tim is slowly yeah. rebuilding this economy. <laughs> Check out the... Sorry, what'd you say you cut off there? Do you see the military fight on the left side? Yeah. By the way, what do you think? Who's gonna win this game? It's hard to say. I, If, if this 2v1 continues, I think SpongeBob's gonna die. I don't think SpongeBob's gonna be able to... Uh, keep this going for long because I, I think he's going to run out wood and then once he runs out of wood then the Lancers will kill him um, <clears throat> between Britain and Spain is a hard choice uh, I think Spain has the flexibility yeah. uh, but I'm, ex I'm interested to see Britain if he can use the rockets well I think maybe he could do he could do pretty good also, check out the fight in the center of the map. The town center went down. Yeah. Sponge destroyed it. Now yeah. some ships are destroying, fighting. Fighting around this There's island here. Now. And Danso is doing some progress. Yellow is also starting to attack in the north. Oh yeah, dude, he's coming up, he's coming up high. He's using grenades as well, and those <laughs> grenades are gonna de like destroy Chinese army. Yeah. Like heavily. Especially with the British Grenadier upgrades. And he's got longbows behind him too. That's pretty solid, pretty solid army. That's gonna be hard to counter. Where is he moving his grenades now? Is he gonna go? I think I he's gonna go up, up north. Saw. Hey, I think he saw the farms of SpongeBob. Oh, in, the, in the north he's there. Four farms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has no protection for them. No barracks. He oh, has no dude. No barracks in the top. No barracks in the top. Oh my god, that's bad. Yeah, dude, and uh, Teal. Spongebob just shot Danzel's factories with mortar ships. Danzel's no factories way. both just went down, yeah. Oh my god. That's insane. Well, like, that's a war of... Like, that's a war declaration. Yeah, that's yeah, that's, that's all at war. <laughs> Do we want confirm, guys? <laughs> you predicted that. And continuing is Timonair's getting a second town center up right now. So Timonair's slowly starting to build up. What's it, what's his ability? He has 18 villagers now, 19 now. Dancel is just ignoring. He built a ton of stables in the south. He's moving forward. He's pushing. A lot of musketeers and dragoons. I don't think China has a big chance in terms of military. And no, if you check the north. Yeah, he's about to get in. Yep. He is getting in. And he has nothing to. He has no military. No, nearby. yeah, That's no defense, mistake. dude. That's a huge, huge and that connects directly to his wonders and his factory. If you continue to oh follow it. Oh my god, that's so bad for him. And like he doesn't build any troops. Do you see that? He's not sending any. Okay, he's sending now a few reinforcements, but that's not enough. No. And check out his villager account for SpongeBob, because we're gonna go down early. Yeah, it's already down to 94. This... He used to like move all his villagers out. Yeah, this Spanish army is doing amazing. 
And so is the Brit. I mean, the Grenadiers are doing so good, taking down buildings very quickly. <clears throat> the uh, Mamlets have a decent siege attack, too. They have 56 siege. And all these buildings are being taken down. Okay, SpongeBob got some cavalry next to the Elite Hura Mantlets. And uh, close to Grenaders as well. Yeah, he does have a, he has a few in there. But he won't save a factory. No. Wow. And Danzel's bringing in some horse cannons into the action. <clears throat> but he was gonna use now some ships to shoot the military of Danzel. Yeah. But it won't do much. Also, do you notice know one thing that SpongeBob is not that focusing on the top of the map? He's focusing primarily primarily on the Danzel. Yeah. I, th I think he has to. I don't think. I don't know, man. He, he could send him maybe some cavalry to stop those grenadiers, but like if he doesn't stop Denzel, then he's into his main base. Also, do you notice that uh, like Yellow is attacking, but he just destroyed the important infrastructure. He's not going for villagers that much. Yeah. Yeah, he's just going, he's going through the back. Those grenadiers, man, they're looking very strong. I think the thing that's going to make the difference here <clears throat> is that if, assuming that uh, Spongebob dies and that Timinator doesn't recover, uh, yeah. if the British player, if, if Scrubs can stop uh, the Lancers, if he can stop the cavalry that Spain has, I think he has, with the Grenadiers and the Rockets, he has a good chance to kill any infantry that Spain has, so uh, he could have a good chance if he can stop Lancers, I think. But we'll have to find out. But like, the thing is, Dan still used a card, like a Spanish card to boost his yeah, he, troops. Uh, unction, yeah, Unction is used. It, it's gonna be very difficult, but it's certainly possible. Hey, I, like, to be honest, I have a feeling that Scrubs made a mistake. And attacking Spongebob? Like, I, I think what Scrubs needs to do now is that he needs to do a bit of damage. Pull back, like, regroup all his army and then attack Blue. Yeah, that would, I, yeah. I think that'd be awesome. Because still be fighting Spongebob, all his army would be there. Yeah. And he won't be able to like regroup his army that fast. Yeah. And, and Spongebob already lost all his wonders, his factories, mm -hmm. like he already had a lot of damage. That's that's very true, I, I like that analysis. He's coming in with a bunch of cab though, Spongebob is, with uh, the Grenadiers and Mantlets. He's gonna take those guys down. <clears throat> that is very true though, that's probably what he could do, but we'll see what he d decides to do. Checking this out, there's like three musketeers attacking a town center. <laughs> <laughs> the it's ultimate like troll. <laughs> there's nothing that nothing that purple can um, do right now. <clears throat> sending more lances but falling back. Huh? So yellow's attack has been stopped. Lancers are coming in. Okay, yeah, he's still going for SpongeBob. Now for his military buildings. SpongeBob is losing a lot of infrastructure. Yeah, he. I'm. Um, I'm gonna be interested to see if he has enough wood. That's my main thing. Oh, he pops out some uh, German, German reinforcements from the council. Uh, <clears throat> Russian needle guns or which ones? We got oh, some dops and have... some needle guns. Yeah. Like, imagine like if you saw the chat now. Imagine <laughs> what SpongeBob is writing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely gonna look and try to add some stuff that's if it's important. So keep yeah, an eye like out try for that. to add like some chat and maybe like try add to your reactions as well. Yeah, that'd be hilarious. So if we got yellow coming in with some more grenadiers and musketeers in the north, but Dan's still pretty much lost his army. But now he's on a lancer spot. Oh my south. god! Yeah, <clears throat> he's almost in the China's base. Like, they're both in this base. Yeah. Spongebob has some idle troops in the north. That's bad. Yeah, he does have a few up there. He needs to move them. Because, like, he needs troops drastically. Yeah. <clears throat> this musketeer grenadier combo is looking so elite right now for British. It's just Definitely. taking down any buildings within seconds. 
He just killed his army. Do you see? I'm in 5 minutes 23, 24. I'm he at, basically I'm killed. almost on. Oh yeah, he just did. I'm at 105, 20. <clears throat> so you're like 5 seconds oh, okay. ahead of me. I don't know about. Yeah, I wonder if he's, you think he's going to start preparing to attack blue? It may, Please could be doing exactly blue. what you said. Oh man, if he does that, that's going to be freaking amazing. He is hey, moving. You notice? Sorry, go ahead. Dan still is falling back. He's all in Lancers, yeah? Yeah. But I don't see any pressure from yellow. Why is he doing that? I don't understand. I don't know. Does he have... He doesn't have spies, does he? No, he doesn't. I don't know. Did he just like... Hey, did Spongebob just convince everyone to go peace? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I'll put it I'll put it all up. I'll, I'll see what he said, but... That'd be hilarious. But he does have... Yellow does have uh, rockets by Danzel's base now. He moved his rockets down there. Oh, that's perfect. <clears throat> Do you reckon that... We might have seen that he moved these rockets south. I don't know. Check the fog of war. Well, oh, he doesn't see it yet. No. There's no way. <clears throat> Just lucky guess that he moved his troops slightly but, south. I don't know. Danzel is rebuilding. He's see he's building stables now. By SpongeBob's base. Yeah. He has so many lancers. Yeah, they're gonna be gonna be the biggest thing to deal with in this game, I think. Seventy-one sage. <clears throat> SpongeBob is keeping some ships to do some damage to those lancers. He needs a lot of pikes. Even though spikes won't do that much damage against lancers who have like that insane card on top of it. Yeah, and uh, it's, he's got uh, Scrubs has got more grenadiers going in at the north. He's sending more troops back. <clears throat> Some missions getting killed there from from Danzel. He's gotten in through that wall now. SpongeBob's trying to rebuild this infrastructure again, and the Grenadiers are going back out to attack attack the North again. But this time, killing villagers looks like. There's a small army, but he's putting more. <clears throat> oh, you know, SpongeBob built some barracks in the north. Yeah, he so did. now he has some backup just in case. Yeah, he does. That's a good decision from him. Although he doesn't have, I think it's a little late. He doesn't have that much eco there anymore. Dan still just lost all his units in the south. Yeah. But oh, he's spawning more now. Yeah. Are we missing something in between yellow or blue? I'm not sure. Their border is peaceful still. It looks like Teal tried to send some ships towards Yellow Base. Yeah, they got slaughtered. Right. Got annihilated. Alright, lots of Lancers now coming in. Dude, so many Lancers. And some Huzars too, coming in too. Oh, uh, that's gonna be deadly against Gunmishers and what was it? Chuko... Chuko Nu. <laughs> yeah, Chuko Nu. Spongebob is starting to run out of wood though. If you check Spongebob's wood count, he's got no villagers on wood. And he has uh, oh, 4,000. Yeah. Very tiny amount of wood. He lost some part of his villagers as well. Yeah. I want to check on Tim right now. He's got 51 villagers slowly coming back into this game. <laughs> wow. Can you imagine so if Tim wins this game? Oh my god, like the same as with Spongebob, that would be insane. Like, like probably the biggest comeback ever. Definitely one of the biggest comebacks ever. Literally from no villagers coming back. I'm surprised he still didn't lose it just because of that one town center. And like check out how much health points that town center has. Like he didn't even like prepare it. <laughs> yeah, just straight, purple straight yellow on that town center. Yeah, it looks like Danzel's doing some hitting and running just to keep keep uh, Timonair in check. He wants to make sure Timonair doesn't have too much comfort. SpongeBob only has 3,000 wood left. Dude, I'm I mean, telling you, still one, has a, once still the, has a ton of wood like in the north, don't you see it? Yeah, but he can't get up there because of yellow. I mean, like, even check the left border. There's, like, a lot of... Oh, yeah, there is someone on the left, yeah. 
so he might be okay for some time. But like still fighting 2v1? Yeah. I don't think Spongebob can do that. It's hard. We saw that, uh, <clears throat> what was his name? Squamager from game, was it game two with Danzel's game? Did the 2v1 yeah. with China for a long time. So it's definitely possible, but very difficult. You're laughing, you're laughing very hard. <laughs> I think it's. I think this time is an exception. <laughs> <laughs> Impossible this time. Grenaders plus Spanish lancers against China. Yeah, I think though he needs a. I don't know, man. I think he needs to. Uh, like, do some sneak attacks or something, because he's he's just fighting on the on the border. Like, he's not trying to take down uh, the stables or anything. I don't think he can afford it that much. But it looks like he got some in the north. And we on Mantis. It might be that he's just gonna try to attack those tables oh, yeah. and rocks in the north. Yeah, yeah, that'd be good. <clears throat> Using natives definitely is a big a big help when you're fighting high population battles. Help give you the extra population. Terminator. Yeah, check out. Terminator's slowly coming back, man. Very slowly. He's got 64 bills. Interesting. Uh, SpongeBob sent a flame pro in the south and he destroyed two infrastructure buildings. He managed to sneak them in somehow. I, I missed it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see. So I guess he is trying to take down. He's doing exactly what I was trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> he heard me. Heard me from the future. <clears throat> Bunchbob time traveler confirmed. <laughs> yeah. He is out of wood. He has 400 wood. And that's it. Oh, that's bad. And also, yellow has mortars now. This is looking grim. Grim times for uh, Spongebob. He also has a lot of idle villagers. Do you think that the enemies, especially Dance, will notice that he's running out of wood soon? Um, I think the only way you can tell is how what kind of units he's spawning. Because if he's not spawning the anti-cavalry units, yeah. then you know he's he's out of wood. Oh, dude, he's Cause... got he put villagers on the main island in the middle, on the center island. No way! He's oh got his God. town center and villagers going there. That's so nice. He's trying to stay alive. But like Yellow should know this battle. <clears throat> yeah, he should, he he should see it with the Navy. And well, I mean, he's got spies too. Yeah. Yeah. Bonjo is losing all his infrastructure. But still, the farms in the north are kind of like kept only. Like, yeah, only Yellow is keeping the pressure over there. Yeah. Do you think they split their forces or something? Like. Attacks from like the north and dance to the south. Maybe. I mean, it definitely looks like that. You can see. Dude, this is almost completely cleared out. Like, at this point, Scrubs can just literally go to the south and just start killing everything Dance has. <laughs> so true. These guys' oh, rockets still waiting down there. And, like, do you see how close the farms are? Close to yellow? Yeah, very close. Like, it doesn't even have any barracks next to it. It's kind of strange if you ask me, like really strange, but he has no barracks He's, close to the farm. Yeah, he is starting to build some in the center. If you look, and Danzel's base right in the center. There's just like zero HP. Yeah, yeah, they're he's not built yet, but he's got constructed there. And Yellow's navy is going to attack Teal on the island. Oh. How many villages does SpongeBob has? 46. It's not looking good right now. Hey, Samurai, try to guess. Will we keep Spongebob alive, or are we going to no, finish me off? No, they are going to finish this guy off, because they they saw him in the last game. What happens <laughs> if you keep him alive? He's too dangerous. Yeah, they're going to think he's too dangerous, and they're going to kill him off here. It looks like Dancel shifted his, his attention towards the yeah, Timnator. Yeah. Timnator has a lot of idle villagers. Yeah, he does. Well, I think those were the villagers that were on wood. 
and then he ran out wood. Wait, if he needs wood, he doesn't have many options where to get it from. Yeah. Like, the north is basically a war zone, and the <laughs> south is like Dancil. Yeah. He's very, very low. He's running away with the villagers. Dancil, come on. Don't attack purple. You already did a lot of <laughs> damage against him. <clears throat> no mercy in this game. Yellow is just like keeping like eight musketeers in the north, like yeah. trying to kill slowly. He's, yeah, he's continuing deeply. to pu push through with that. Okay, it looks like SpongeBob lost even more villagers in the center of the map. Yeah, all those villagers are gone. He's starting That's to build ridiculous. more town centers back where his main base was. You see in the center where his base was yeah. previously? He's starting to get some back there. Cars <laughs> are good again. Yeah, but Yellow knows that, so I think, yeah, he's sending in cavalry right now. I think Yellow's going to finish Spongebob and then let uh, Danzel take out Tim, and then he'll, I think he's going to attack Tim uh, Danzel after, after he takes out Spongebob. Now, so basically, it's kind of obvious that Sp Spongebob lost this. Like, there's no chance for him to survive. The question is, how are we going to... Solve the conflict between each other now. Who do you think is stronger, Scrubs or Danzel? That's a it's a hard question. I think Danzel has it because of Unction, but if you play British right, British could definitely do it do a good job in Spain. It's just gonna be hard. Like even I, if you check my infrastructure, Yellow's infrastructure is a lot better. Even the economy is a lot stronger. Yeah. I don't know, man. And yellow hope, does have. I hope Scrub's going to win. Yeah, yellow does have spies too. So actually, that could be that could be extremely, extremely significant. It does. Dance doesn't have any spies yet. No way. He doesn't. Yeah, no is he spies. Trolling? Yet. <laughs> is he trolling? I don't know what he's what he's up to there. Because like, uh, yellow can send like blockade, and that's GG for Danzel. That is that is true. Can you not get spies once you get a blockade? I've never. No, you cannot. Never I figured it out. Can. That's that'd be crazy. These dragoons are causing uh, Danzel some problems. Or, may, I, or maybe you could. I'm not sure. Anyways, we'll see how that goes. I still think that Danzel is a bit playing cocky, not trying to get spies. He. Is, it's very interesting why he's doing that. That's for sure. There's a lot of dance of losers in the south cutting wood. The last wooden map, probably. Sp yeah, Spongebob's got three villagers left. Oh. And they're being chased down right now. There are always villagers. He's got two on the railroad tracks, and then he's okay. got one in a village by a trade post. Dude, Rodoleros. Rodoleros being played here from Spain. Here they come, dude. Get in there, Rods. I want to see these Rods in action. <clears throat> Most people do not like Rods, but they can do a great job late game. Uh, especially against those Dragoons if you get some in melee. <clears throat> yeah. They're the best counter to uh, Eagle Runner Knights, surprising enough. Here we go, dude. If you look by uh, the trade post on the left side of the map, the last villagers that Teal has. The last villager. He's got he's got the one inside his uh, village. <clears throat> Excuse me, and then he's got the two inside the castle. Oh. Uh, he got some flamethrowers. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be crazy. Yellow is literally ignoring Purple's villagers. You know what? I think what Scrub is gonna do is he's gonna ask for Purple's help. Yeah, against and Danzel. And both attack Danzel. Yeah. Oh my it goodness. Looks very probable. That could be. That would be insane. Because like he's keeping his uh, red coats, musketeers on defense mode, so he mm -hmm. won't attack Purple. And like, do you see Purple? He's doing mortars and he's destroying some infrastructure as well. Yeah. Wait, is Purple helping to kill the Spongebob? 
<laughs> Pretty good one again, huh? Yeah, it looks like it. Taking down That's the so nice. taking down the mountain castle. Two villagers left. Yeah, he's got that the last two there. In that village, yeah. Yeah, he's got the village and then he's got the one there's one villager running north. <laughs> Just running north. Trying to trying to stay alive there. Yeah, I see. They're building a wall. SpongeBob Trump card. <laughs> <laughs> Is he gonna just spam walls to like protect his villager? <laughs> Getting market up. Needs wood. Dude, he's gonna do anything. Yellow's got mortars coming in. He's trying to get an, a market up, yeah. Alright, we got skirmishers finally coming in now for Spain. That's nice. Still is not trying to get spies. I still find it kind of strange, but Ansel is kind of losing. Power Stimulator. Yeah, it's not, you'd think that he'd easily be able to beat him, wouldn't you? No, like, I mean, look. Yeah, yeah, like, Ansel should beat Purple easily. Okay, now he's sending a massive Imperial Gerochista. Was Lancers upgraded? Yes. You have 800 HP? Yeah, baby. <clears throat> That's a bit cancerous. <laughs> Well, you gotta you gotta realize he sent in like four cards to help boost their their stats from his home city. Get down to got the two barracks in the city prepared just in case he attacks. Yeah, what they I like are about Dancel's city is that he kind of spread out all the plantations and mills. Yeah, that is it's good because if he starts to lose it, then he'll keep keep some going. Yellow is going all out to kill these last villagers. He's got both of them. Both of them are running for their lives <laughs> in the northern part of the map. It is. We need to make. We it's need to literally. Make a movie. It's literally the maze runner. Yeah. They're running through the maze. SpongeBob villagers. Can we outrun the attackers? The mortar. Dude, they're about to get. They're about to get killed. He's trying to build a town center. You see, always sending a massive army in the north. A ton of wasars. Yeah, he's going around. Oh, that's not looking good. Poor SpongeBob. I can't I wait to see the comments in the video. Guys, like, don't you feel like sad, sorry because of SpongeBob? Like, he's enduring so much pain now. I don't. I don't downstairs. think there are gonna be many comments <laughs> I agree with that statement. Oh, downs are going down, and there's two hussars next to it. Yeah. They're both inside. This is it. He's trying to he's trying to respawn the oh. monk. It's about to go down. No, SpongeBob. No. <laughs> yeah, he's still alive. For some reason. Does he have another town center? Or like explorer somewhere. Dude, I don't know. Do you see the explorer? I don't see There's it. explorers on the main island. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, it's because he's got his he's got his uh, military units in the south. You see the flamethrowers? He's got to oh. kill those. How many flamethrowers are gonna run? <laughs> Pump that is, just won't give up. That is hilarious. <clears throat> just throwing flamethrowers. All he's got left. Um, and at the moment, Danzel has Terminator kind of bunkered in. You see his his villagers in the south are not on the. Uh, Mills or plantations. Wait, why is Timidator attacking the mortars? Yellows. Does he want war or something? I don't know. He's maybe literally killing more. maybe he thinks that yellow is gonna try to kill him once once he finishes SpongeBob. SpongeBob's yeah, last yeah. flamethrower is right here. Hazards are going in. And that is it. SpongeBob is out. So we have three players left in this finals match. Timnator is out as well. Oh, Timnator! Wow, Timnator resigns. So Timnator grabs a third place spot by <laughs> by seconds. Congratulations, Timnator. Yeah, that was that was well done. He could have easily taken the fourth place, but he stuck it out and, and grabbed third. Yeah. So we have all. Thanks, kind of, thanks to Denzel and like ours for not finishing me off. Yeah.
So this is it, man. We got a 1v1 square off for the final here. And British... It, oh my gosh, dude. His ships are coming in already. Oh, that's nice. No, that's no mercy. Just coming straight in. Shoot them. <clears throat> Does he have any factories? Oh, yeah. He lost all He lost his factories already. Getting down the dock. He has some troops in the ships, doesn't he? Okay, he's training hussars really quick. He's gonna be able to sell so many hussars in the city. Oh, what time are you? All right. Yeah. He, oh no, no. We're uh, I'm at 124.22. Okay. I see it. He's just spawning him right now. Yep. What a play, dude. Well, that is beautiful. And he's killing with Willis. Yeah, Danzel's got an issue to face now. Is Danzel building any troops? He's not building any I, troops. I don't see anything at the moment. He's just trying to bring his entire army back over. That's a big mistake. Oh no, he's got he some pikes. Start. He's got pikes spawning in. Okay, that's good. Imperial pikes could could do heavy damage against these cav, but Danzel is gonna lose some infrastructure. He, he's gonna lose a lot of villagers, and that's gonna put Yellow at huge advantage. Oh, the lancers are moving up north. Dahl is yellow. Yeah, and it's crazy because he doesn't have spies. I, I'm still amazed that he didn't go for spies. Nah, he just feels cocky that he's gonna win this game, even without spies. Yeah. If if Yellow wins this game, that is the best underdog performance. Because yeah, everyone like everyone from game one was like, Yellow needs to play against better players or something like that. Oh, damn, so that's, all, that's it, toxic. It is, <laughs> it is a little bit, but dude, hats off to him. He's doing great right now. Got the final, final two players here. Danson doesn't have any navy, and that's gonna put him at a big snatch. He just sent some rockets, and there's a ton of pikes next to rockets. You see that? Dude, yeah, he's coming in right now, dropping them off. What a spawn with those pikes. Interesting seeing Imperial pikes. You very rarely see Imperial pikes. <laughs> Getting some action here. He, I think Danzel really needs to spawn in artillery to take out these ships. Some yeah, we're going to do a lot of damage. And he, he definitely needs to get his eco going again, too. Danzel has 39 villagers. I don't think he can recover. Like, it's going to be extremely difficult for him, but it's possible because... Yeah. Uh, he could build, like, other bases somewhere. But because he doesn't have, like, eyes, mm -hmm. I mean, spies, it's gonna be a bit difficult. Yeah. Yeah, Yellow should build more infrastructure. Okay, he has a ton of in the north. Yeah, Danzel's starting to make progress, so into his base at the same time. It's interesting because he's not trying to, like, he's not really trying to wall off again or anything. He's letting the ship stay there. More barracks going down. There's still one rocket alive. Oh my gosh, Danzel, Danzel's training about 50 skirmishers at the moment. Wow. I'm not sure where from, but we got a lot of skirmishers in queue right now. Oh, from, from everywhere, side. from all over the place. <laughs> he definitely needs to get some mortars or culverins to take out that navy, I think. Check but, how much resources Danzel and Scrubs have. Yeah, Scrubs has significantly more coin. They have about the same amount of food. So this is gonna be this is gonna be crazy. I don't I don't know what's gonna happen. I think Danzel needs to start building more villagers and get more plantations. Not only he needs more like villagers, I think he even needs more towns. <laughs> oh, what if what if he's thinking that he can take them out with extra military population? He's gonna run out of resources, I think. You think so? He's definitely I going through it pretty quick, but if he could get a good enough, uh, good enough attack, and then take some, uh, take some land, he could, he could cause some problems. Like if I was scrubs, I would just move all my villagers up north, even further away from that. That's zone. yeah, that is true. And Danzel can't see what's going on. Scrubs factories are well defended. So that's very nice thing. All right, these skirmishers are causing significant British casualties. He's got some Hussars coming in now. And Danzel's got some Musketeers coming in too.
those missionaries are doing a lot of help towards this army. Yeah, the missionaries are significant for Spain, especially at this point in the game. Longbow is coming in for Britain. And he's trying to, Brits are trying to take down, or the houses that uh, Denzel has. Let's see if he can do it. There's like strange thing is that Denzel is losing more villagers. He has only 30. Yeah, it's he's like he's sticking on a bomb. Yeah, he's... and he needs to be <laughs> as fast as possible. Yeah, he's gonna go for it though. Very ballsy yeah, move, as for sure. Maybe, maybe he's trying to make Scrub think that he's not worried about his eco. So like, I don't know. Type of bluff. Is That's it, another, yeah, another bluff from uh, Danzel, maybe. That's it's not even defending from those like six stars in his face. Danzel should move his base somewhere else. Doesn't have many options. Yeah, he's starting to get housed too. He's starting to lose his population. But he did a lot of progress in the south. Yeah, he is. He's starting to make through, through the first layer there. And honestly, yellows, uh, some of yellows' eco is right there. He's only got one more wall to go through. But he's done. He can still like move his villages really easily. Through the walls. I think yellow needs to build like out like watchtowers in the south, defend against that. So that's gonna help him a lot. Yeah, that could help out. Help out for sure. Because backs are going down. He is losing a lot of coin though. You see Danzel's coin count? 9,000. Yep. That's not looking good. He's spawning in straight artillery in the south. And he still has no eyes. <laughs> no eyes on losing coin as well. Yeah. I think he's got yeah, he's gonna try to take out these ships maybe. Or he's, I don't know, the, the horse cans are on the move. Relentlessly pushing through. Hussars are gonna get those cannons. Nice shot from Yellow, trying to kill those cannons. Somehow he missed, I'm, I'm not sure why. Oh, wow. The he did miss it. Maybe, I think that might have been the one that he killed right before the shot hit. And then it didn't do any damage because it killed that unit. Oh, okay. So it looks like Dance is losing bit by bit. Why do you think he's losing? Yeah, this is very interesting. Very interesting late game strategy here for sure. But honestly, it's gotten him this far, so there's something to it. <laughs> I think Dance just got lucky or something. Yeah, he's just oh, garbage. He the he's just a garbage ball. player. No, I'm joking. <laughs> 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 Everyone knows we're joking. Hey, I think you should remove Ask Dancel now. <laughs> oh no, that's ultimate disrespects. These skirmishers are just annihilating anything that he tosses. I'm surprised he doesn't come in with more cavalry. Yeah. He's going with like a skirm only army. Dancel has only 23 villagers. Yeah. But his coin is going up again. It's 10,000 now. Yeah, very he's, he's, not, he's not spawning any more units in. Okay, so let's check what Scrubs has. Scrubs lost a few release. Now it's sending massive Osaurus army. Yeah, Scrubs is running out of food. His food is going down for sure. Scrubs? Yeah, he used to have 40,000 food. And now he's almost at 30. Wait, wait, you say he has 30,000 and he's running out of food? <laughs> well, well, I'm saying his, his food count has gone down by 10k since the last time we checked, so... If that makes sense, he's starting to get deficient. His coins stay the same though, he's saving around 80,000 coin. Yeah, I think Dance is gonna run out of resources first. Yeah, no, no, I agree. <clears throat> it's surprising Mom, Danzel's not spawning any, any more guys. Okay, spamming was. He's gonna make more stars now. Yeah, now he is. Okay. So lots of hoods coming in to finally take out these skirmishers from uh, from Danzel. Samurai, you forgot one thing. What's up? That yellow could actually do trade monopoly. Oh, does he have? He has. He doesn't he have. He literally sends some villagers wall up, and because Danzel doesn't have any like ships, 
He could just take all those trading. Spells yeah, he could just... if he if he takes down the other trade posts. <clears throat> he needs to get more than half. So how many how many posts are there on this map? Uh, damn everything like everything is blocked by the walls. He's got nine. The there's nine posts. So oh no, there's ten. Okay, so he needs six six posts. <clears throat> More Hazars are coming in. Hazars versus Hazars. Yeah, <laughs> going toe to toe here. That's a bold move again. <laughs> and now we've got some grenaders. Dance on 7,000 coin. Scrubs still around 30,000 food. And Dragoons but he lost coming out. Some villagers. <clears throat> <clears throat> I think both players are doing really, like, did a good job. Dancil could have tried hard more, harder on his economy. Yeah. And <laughs> getting those eyes earlier, mm -hmm. that would help him a lot. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. Yeah, lots like, of pikes coming in now. Oh yeah, go ahead. Like, why Dancil, like, didn't fall back from the SpongeBob rush? He like, mm. but like, Yellow didn't commit that much. Did you see, he sent maybe like 30 troops. That's it. Yeah. Like he, he was just keeping 30 troops in the north and just like trying to kill the performance, but Aldansil was focusing 100% on Teal. Yeah. He had all his army. So basically, Scrubs was slacking off. He wasn't like attacking that seriously. And I think that might contribute to Dancil's loss a bit. Yeah, I can see that for sure. It's still sad that Terminator is out. <laughs> It is kind of like sad. Look kind of alive. Yeah, he could have done some more stuff. I feel like, but toss in the towel. Got lots of uh, skirmishers coming out once again from from Danzel. Maybe his last stand here. I'm not too sure. Skirmishers from Danzel. At what time are you now? Uh, I'm at 1:35. He's got him coming in from uh, from the south. He's got three barracks kind of behind his eco. <clears throat> On the west side-ish, the southwest. Uh, I see a lot of dead here and skirmishers. Yeah. I think, I think you set up with SARS <laughs> from that. So. But yeah, it doesn't look good for Dancil no, either way. Not at all. I'm very surprised that he <clears throat> he's not trying to rebuild his eco or anything. It's like I mean, he's just fighting with what he has left. But like, if you think about it, like he doesn't have time to rebuild his Zuko. Well, sure. Yellow has ice. Yeah, that's like, true. Like he's gonna hunt down everything. It shows you how important spies are at the yeah. end of a free for all. Dancil has a nice army composition, a lot of bikes and skirmishers, getting some espada as well. Can Scrubs utilize his mortars now against that army? You could definitely kill like some, maybe at least like 20 troops or so. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, he got some Espada close to the SARS in the south. Yeah, they're gonna get slaughtered by those grenadiers. So it looks like Danzel's gonna lose everything he has left down there. No, Danzel. <laughs> He's gonna fight with what he has left. And the center. Who do you think was like more moral player? Like who did more like team matchups against one or so? Was it Dancil or Scrubs? What do you think? It's a hard question. I had to think about it for a second. I think Dancil was more ruthless. I know. I actually would disagree because he kept he kept uh, purple alive. And uh, <laughs> and Scrubs killed off killed off Teal without question. That's true. But either way, they're both they both had a little bit of ruthlessness to them. But like man, like I was so so su surprised by Scrubs' performance this game. Like his rush on the red was amazing. Yeah. Like uh, nobody expected that. Yeah, it was a very good play at the beginning. These pikes are getting slaughtered right now by these ships. Why do you send them more? Just try to take out the ships, but that's... They're getting... Oh, man, all the cavalry is coming in. All the British cavalry. 
<clears throat> I'm using, using oh my goodness. Though. Now I'm a biggest slaughter. Yeah, that is. In anime history. <laughs> that is up there on the top slaughters. Is he gonna lose any of his stars? I wonder. <laughs> it doesn't look like. Okay, oh, I he, think he, he lost, lost one. He lost one. <laughs> That's crazy. Dude, Can what, a, what a performance from Scrubs, though. You gotta give it to him. Yeah. Coming out totally of the, deserves to win. Yeah, coming out of the, the gate early, surprising everyone with the early attack, eliminating two players on his own. <clears throat> Getting extremely high economy as well in the meanwhile. Yeah. I th I, I'm like very, he... very pleased with his performance. I think he's well-deserved of the victory. Usually in free for all, most people just turtle and just focus on economy. But like Scrubs managed to do both. Yeah, he did manage to do rush both. and economy. I think it shows you some of the power of the British boom, um, and how effective it can be. But at the same time, yeah, like you said, he did manage to do both. Very impressive. Wait, haven't somebody told us that uh, British is not that good in free for all? Like their troops are not that good to like protect those uh, rockets. I could not disagree more with that statement. Who said that? <laughs> you might be out later. I completely disagree with that. <laughs> Dude, if you fully upgrade British Musketeers, they are straight tanks. Yeah. We also have Dragoons, Hussars. Yeah, they got... Haters. Yeah, that's pretty solid army. The thing I is too... The is, are kind of OP. Yeah, the, the, the Grenadiers with the upgrades are very good. And they have uh, cards that affect the Grenadiers and the Musketeers, so both those guys get upgrades. Yeah. But additionally, their Musketeers and their Huzars are uh, the the guard status, so they get an extra bonus because of their guard units for British. <clears throat> okay, so let's play a game. Find Dancil's last villagers. Free again. <laughs> Free villagers again. <laughs> yeah, I see. I'm no, chopping that wood down. Oh, I see them, yeah. See. <laughs> well, and now there's so much fun. silence. I wonder, what are we chatting? Danzler should just say GG, probably. <laughs> no, he's fighting to the last guy. I, I respect fighting to the last man. I think it's I think it's noble. Well, I think YouTube viewers would disagree. I completely, I completely agree that YouTube <laughs> you viewers would disagree. That's probably right. <clears throat> It obviously like depends right. on the game too, but in free for all, I think it's pretty fun. Because as as you can yeah. see with Tim, he came back and actually had kind of a chance. Kind of a chance, <laughs> yeah, right. I think he caused Dancil some problems for a little bit. <clears throat> yeah. But yeah, I but, I think it was a pretty solid game overall. Hey, Samurai, I have a good idea. How about you do like a interview? Like wait. Some of the <clears throat> wait, wait, wait. Okay, yeah, that is a good idea. But Trey Monopoly just played from from Scrubs. You see this? <laughs> that's a disrespect. Man. Oh my gosh, that's the ultimate disrespect. disrespect. My voice cracked so hard right there. That was that was terrible. Oh, don't worry, it's fine. Uh, but yeah, that could be a good idea. Just like been, hey, over voice chat what or what? They, what if they? Yeah, like I think voice chat would be ideal. If not, just like normal chat. But like. Maybe like you could also ask like in like make a maybe like vote polls or something, and just like you you to ask you to comment and Discord like what type of questions you should ask that, for those players. I like that. That that could be pretty cool. I'll definitely do that after this. <clears throat> the also best samurai. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, do you think Scrubs is testing Dancil? Is it like basically saying, can you destroy the trade post with just free villagers? <laughs> <laughs> that that could be the case. Uh. I don't know, it's the ultimate level of trolling right now, I think. He, I mean, Danzel has resources. But yeah. He's not building anything. Are we chatting or something? Like, what are we doing now? I think yeah. we're chatting. I'll, I'll have to check it in the recording. I'll definitely put it up. You're, you're probably saying, like, oh, GG, man, like, you did so well. Respectless, scrub, scrubs. <laughs> yeah. What a performance, though, man. What were your, so overall in this tournament, what were your uh, top surprises in this game? What was, what was your biggest surprise? Like, probably my first biggest surprise was that Spongebob had the literally the biggest economy in the entire game. He mm. was like the, the biggest monster, 
until somebody did the SpongeBob tactics to be one <laughs> against yeah. him. Yeah. <clears throat> Nobody helped him, it seems. Yeah, it shows you that on his own he doesn't stand up as much as he could if he could have help. He needed he needed yeah. the red player uh the striker or the ace striker seventy eight from uh that game to help him out. Or like purple, but like SpongeBob attacked purple, so like he's kinda at fault. That and is also wait wait, do you notice that uh SpongeBob got teamed and lost because of that? Purple lost because of that as well, because three people attacked purple for yeah. some stupid reason. Yeah. Like I'm not sure why they did that. <clears throat> I think they knew that Portugal was the most dangerous, especially with the water, and they didn't want to let them get too big. That's just that's my uh, guess though. Yeah, probably. I feel sad for Red. Like, like I think you yeah. should like ask some questions for Red as well. Like, what was his reaction when he saw the spikes? Yeah, that <laughs> was that was that was definitely. Uh, I don't know. I mean, there's not much you can do if you don't have much of an army. Yeah. Danzel is currently building a saloon towards the lake and attacking the wall with his last villagers. And he's not trying to kill those last villagers. No, he's not. <laughs> he's just keeping them alive. Um, so yeah, guys, if you're like asking why this game is so long, just like thank Scrubs for that. <laughs> yeah, thank Scrubs for that. Uh, I don't know, dude. He, he deserves it. Right now, he's just probably like basking in, basking in victory, just taking it all in. Yeah. That was, two minutes. that was a great performance though. So we'll have uh the second second chance game uh after this as well. So we'll have one more game in the tourney. Um none of the players get to go to the finals. I just wanted to give each of the players another chance to play. And uh because we definitely saw some good players in the yeah. other games who unfortunately didn't get to go to the finals, if that was because <coughs> of <laughs> teaming or whatever it was, but that will be coming up, and then we're gonna do that game on Borneo, so that will be exciting because that was the second second uh, choice of the game, or map map choice. Samurai, could you tell me like what was the like uh, re like requirements to be picked to the second chance uh, free for all game? Uh, like, how did you pick those players? Yeah, so I went by the comments in the chat that said like this player did pretty well. Like I wish that he could have been in the finals or something. Uh, yeah. And in terms of like that, we just added the eight because we can only have eight players. So we picked the top eight and uh, just put them in. We're going to put them in the game. So we'll see how they all do. Yeah, definitely looking forward for that. Yeah, it should be good. Uh, some games obviously have more than one player because uh, some of them we thought there were multiple good players. So we'll get to see. We'll see a lot of action on that. I'm excited to see it too because uh, these free for alls have definitely been interesting. And uh, I'm interested to see it on Borneo. I think Borneo would be a good map to play a uh, free-for-all on. That'd be crazy. Well, I smell another Portuguese, Spain, and <laughs> British. Yeah, maybe. So here we go. We got think... Sorry, go ahead. Do you think that people are going to learn something from his finals? <laughs> uh, I, I w if I learned anything, it would be Danzel's strategy of, if it is, if oh. it was true, of not not playing your best in the beginning so people don't attack you actually <laughs> it works but you need to have spies later in the game to take advantage of that that's true that's definitely true but yeah, yeah like imagine everyone in second chance will just use dancel's tactic uh-huh and you're gonna have shitty scores that'd be, that'd be hilarious and that is it man that is the end of the game scrubs with oh, the victory devil. scrubs mcgrubs is the free-for-all grand champion excellent performance man Good congratulations to him. Yeah, definitely congratulations. I thought well deserved victory. Uh, so let's look at the post game. You know, look at the stats. Yep. Um, definitely just see if anything sticks out here. So Sponge SpongeBob with the most units lost. Oh. And Danzel has the most units killed. Pretty interesting there. Um, like if you check the military count and like. Like, check out, like, kill and death ra ratio, <laughs> which one was the worst. Yeah. Definitely, I don't know, Def Spongebob's looking pretty bad. Timonator came out positive. <clears throat> and Scrubs actually came out positive barely, which is pretty interesting. You see how well Danzel did there. <clears throat> yeah. I think he mostly killed Spongebob army most of the times. Yeah. If you check the, uh, if you go into the timeline, look at the all unit count. 
to see how many oh teal had there. God. Yeah. 300 units. Yeah, check out um check out yellow's army when he attacked red. Age 3. You see how many how many more units he had? Yellow's? Yeah, yellow's yellow's army uh right at the that's fortress nasty. age. Yeah. And like do you see Dance just literally slacking off? That is <laughs> like 40 minutes. <laughs> it is very funny. He's it's like he's purposely trying to stay low. And then he, he overcame. That's very impressive, I think. Yeah. I think Dance also got lucky because nobody kinda attacked him seriously. Yeah. I just... I think that's correlated though with his score. Because I think people tend to attack who had the the highest score or spies. Also, I think you should some special like role in Discord of FFA. Like, yeah, champion. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely will. That's he definitely deserves that. <clears throat> I don't think Dancel deserves the second place. To be no, honest. no, no, no second place. Only the only the winners. Um, so yeah, guys, this is gonna be it. This is gonna be the end of the free for all grand tourney. Uh, we'll get the second chance game out to you guys. That'll be super exciting. So keep an eye out for that. Sorry, sorry, Samurai. Did you show all the military unit count, villager count? Yeah, and, I, like, I went. Powers. I went through them all, kinda. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, thank you, Samurai, for inviting me. By yeah, the way, it was no. a pleasure casting with you. Everyone, rate him on a scale of one to ten. How good he did? Oh uh, no. no. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm just kidding. You did a great job. That was awesome. I, I'm still trying to improve. Of course. Still kind of new to this. Hey, so am I. It's, it's, it's always a work in progress. But yeah, yeah. Uh, let me know your guys' thoughts as always, and then I'll see you guys in the next video.